If your city doesn't have a bike mayor, it could soon. Why? Because Portlandia was a fucking popular show. Portlandia was great. It was very funny. I actually ran into Fred Armisen recently, and I complimented a DJ set he did two and a half years ago. Because next time Fred Armisen's in an interview, and they say, what is the nerdiest thing anyone's ever said to you? I want him to have an answer for that question. I, I feel like I gave him the answer. He can be like, dude, I was in this comedy green room, and one of the comics who was walking by, uh, I said hello, and he talked about a DJ set I did two and a half years ago. I don't even remember doing it. I had to, like, think about, when did I, oh, yeah, I DJed out Amoeba in Hollywood the one day, and uh, this dude was referencing songs I played. What a nerd. Holy shit, what a nerd. Uh, Fred Armisen asked that interview next to me, hey, Fred, what's the nerdiest that this kid, he referenced, I don't know if he'd call me a kid or not, I'm, I'm you know, he probably, maybe he wouldn't, I mean, I get it. But I feel like I gave him an answer to that question. I feel like that was right. But anyway, so bike mayors. Let's see what this is all about. If your city doesn't have a bike mayor, it could soon. Uh, the position would help coordinate between bikers, government, and nonprofits was pioneered in Amsterdam. By the end of 2019, there will be around 200 in the world. When the first bicycle mayor, a person who serves as a connecting point between city departments, nonprofit, and other bike advocates, was chosen in Amsterdam in 2016, the idea was to help an already bike-obsessed city become even more bikeable. But the program was never intended to only be about in Amsterdam. The nonprofit behind the idea aims to bring bike mayors to 200 cities by the end of 2019. The program is already in nearly 30 cities from Sao Paulo to Istanbul. We really want to try and take that Dutch approach and not only use a, not only use the culture here as a playground for new ideas, but then take that approach and those ideas and work around the world very quickly. Um, so there's a bicycle mayors program. So the mayors aren't part of local government, okay, but they're volunteers who are recommended by local cycling groups and sometimes voted on by the public in an unofficial election. How it works in Amsterdam might be different from how it works in Beirut or Bangalore, but the idea is the same. You stand in the middle of all the stakeholders across the city, that's the cyclists, the advocates, the government bodies, the political leadership, and you try to listen to all those groups and identify what the areas are where you can really accelerate some change and make some impact by bringing all those groups together. Each bicycle mayor focuses on the local issues that are most relevant. That's awesome. So they just kind of have like a bicyclist advocate who listens to the community and is the go-between uh, and helps coordinate between elected officials and people and different needs and agendas and policy ideas. So bringing it back to the last story, one thing I'm working on in my town in Pasadena, I'm trying to get municipal broadband internet to Pasadena. And uh, when, it, when it got to the city council floor, they told us we couldn't afford it. Pasadena, California. That's where Parks and Recs is filmed. That's where Big Bang Theory is based off of. It's a city in Southern California. It's got a few bucks. Uh, Mississippi. There's a town in Mississippi. We, we discovered a town in Mississippi that is trying to do a Muni broadband project. Somehow they can afford it, but Pasadena can't. Anyway... So if I had a, a bicycle mayor, I would go to the bicycle mayor. I would raise these issues to the bicycle mayor, and that bicycle mayor would kind of be my representative um, for city council meetings and stuff like that, which um, they moved our city council meetings in Pasadena to 5 p.m. on Mondays. Not an easy time to make for most people. Southern California's got a lot of traffic. People commute. A lot of people work 9 to 5s. A lot of people work in the service industry. This is not an easy time. They know that. They used to have it at 6. I think it was 6.30 even. That was easier to attend for a lot of people. They changed it. Why? Because there were some police brutality issues and people were showing up and protesting. And it could have been because we kept showing up from Muni Broadband too. I don't know. But they changed that. So anyway, I think this is really cool. I think that every town... And so here, let me give... Uh, let me find this website... So you can see, you can, I mean, hey, maybe you want to be the, the bike mayor in your town. I think it's a really good idea. I, I think it's a cool way to get more people interested in, uh, in local politics. I think it's a cool way to uh, bridge the gap uh, via cycling between citizens and elected officials. And again, local government is where you really do have a voice. Uh, so go to bycs.org. Bycs.org bycs.org I said the uh, 
I said the URL three times because I know that when this clip goes out later, there will still be people in the comments who are going, you should tell us what the URL is. Why don't you tell us what the, why don't you include, and I'll include it in the description too. I'll include the URL in the description. But people, why don't you include it? BYCS.org. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? Get